Japan has always been one of my top travel destinations, but there's one place in particular that's better than anywhere else that I've been. You have to take a train, you actually have to take a few trains, you have to take a bus, you have to do a little bit of walking, but once you get there, it's one of the most amazing places that I promise you, you've ever been in Japan. And that's Kusatsu Onsen. Kusatsu Onsen is one of Japan's most famous hot spring resorts and is blessed with large volumes of high quality hot spring water said to cure every illness but love sickness. Located about 125 miles northwest of Tokyo, Kusatsu is situated at an altitude of about 1200 meters above sea level in the mountains of Gangnam Prefecture. Kusatsu Onsen is a small hot spring town that offers various natural settings in each of the four seasons. You can ski in the winter and hike and cycle during the rest of the year, and also, of course, enjoy this with the hot spring bathing. It's a tourist town with a population of around 7,000 people. Kusatsu welcomes upwards of 3 million visitors each year. The main attraction is the town spas, and it's said to be Japan's best three hot springs. Sano Kawar Open Bath, Gozan Noyu Bathhouse, and Ota Kinoyu Bathhouse. Japan is known for the food, and there's no better place than walking through the streets and being able to see some things that you may have never seen before in your life, and also some things that you might recognize, like onsen tamago. Honestly, this is just a hard boiled egg, but it's actually slow boiled in hot onsen water, and hot spring water, and the texture of it is amazing. Kusatsu is filled with beautiful nature, all around the city. And all you have to do is take maybe a five minute walk in order to find it. Normally, I plan my day by the onsen that I go to. So there are three main ones like I mentioned before, and these you have to pay for them. But throughout the city, there are actually some free bathhouses as well. In addition to this, there's actually places where you can just sit down and soak your feet. Anyone wanting to take a trip where you get to detox and completely disconnect from everything, this is definitely the place for you. Even at night, Kusatsu is completely transformed. By far, my favorite place in Kusatsu, after the onsens, of course, is this cafe here. In this cafe, they have a wide variety of different handmade artisan drinks, as well as food. But this is just a nice, relaxing atmosphere where you can actually come, sit down, enjoy in a really amazing atmosphere. In addition to the amazing drinks and food that they have, they also have a ton of handcrafted decorations in the entire restaurant and everything you see is also available for purchase. With my first visit to Kusatsu, I wasn't actually prepared for how cool the nights were, so I bought a cap while I was here as well. But I've done a lot of studying, a lot of reading, and just a lot of wasting time in this cafe. And honestly, the owner and his wife are amazing people. Here, everything's made to the highest quality. From the coffee to the handcrafted sodas, the entire visit is just an experience within itself. If you haven't yet been, make sure you put Kusatsu Onsen on your list next time that you're in Japan. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe.